Hello, everybody. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. This is GGF bringing you episode 11 of Let's Play Vaster Claws 3 Dragon Slayer of the God World. I hope you guys are well and ready to check out more of this fascinating game. So, I think we're ready just to head to the next um, adventure. Yep, so let's go ahead and hit next and proceed back to here and let's go to the new world. All right, we did Sansu B, right? Sansu C, okay. Um, next would be Furion B, or how about, how about Yomi C? Let's check out Yomi C. Oh. Oh, we lost someone. <clears throat> we lost Luna and Lady Lethal. Unbelievable. Right in the first. The first bits of Yomi C. It's really to learn Shine Blood 3 or 5. Oh my gosh, we are. Got a Rose Ring. Oh, there's this U Ray character. Grim Zedley leveled up. Skill attack. Got a salamander ring. Wow, first area complete. That was pretty rough. Not gonna lie, they they had us in the first half. <laughs> All right, so complete. Um, it's probably not any more loot. We lost some important characters. That's going to be tough to make up for. Yeah, her platoons are weakened. Let's have this one for Shrine Maiden. And yeah, that's it. We're gonna have to make two. Let me see two. Got a tower. Esmeralda. Learn Death Guard 1. Guard some HP. We still have a force of 2,000 left. Losing peeps less than right. Got a Gale Blade. Staying Poison Slimes. Be the death of us. Enemy Force remaining 639. That's almost all of it. There's like one enemy left. And we will find them. There it is. All right, we lost El Esmeralda and Christifa. <clears throat> Looks like there's no loot on this one. So, uh, we'll just press on then. Let's just make sure. All right, next we're gonna change the tune. Hmm. Okay, we have a shot here. Although, Greg Arm is not doing too good up there with the Orb Breaker. Let's assign that to Shrine Maiden. Maybe this is the boss area, if we're lucky? Nope. Oh, 
Down goes. Uh. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to do this. We have three very heavily injured peeps. Yeah. I should have just pulled out Esmeralda learn half tail. Uh, Elzerium forced up to 251. 2 HP. Most valuable was Lotus, 33 kills, but Greg Arm with 19 and forcing up to 213. And Esmeralda and Davidson J, surprisingly. Davidson J going to 102, Esmeralda to 139. We picked up some interesting stuff to work with. Um. We can use the Gale Blade. Jarvis? Jarvis is not currently in a troop that we're using, right? Okay, so... Salamander Ring. Mm -hmm. Probably want to level up the, uh... Say the Viper Ring for Philippe. Strengthen it with a Salamander Ring. Goes to 85%. Nice. And how about a Force Emblem? Boom. Viper Ring plus one. Oh, so we get two more. Uh, Two more seconds of continuous poison damage with this. Nice. Let's see who else is using what. Um, this is Gale. Who's using that? Standing Giant. Lady Minerva with the Rose Ring. Christifa with the Force Emblem. She can use the Claws Ring. I don't understand why, though. It's four star. Hmm. Okie dokie. Uh, Lady Lethal has the self ring that's maxed out. Lotus has the salamander ring maxed out. Um, Maggie has a shine dog fang. Let's strengthen that with the salamander ring and a rose ring. Force Emblem. Boom. Shine Dog Fang plus one. Ooh. Bonus attack. Or two. Regular. We'll go with that. Bonus attack. Beautiful. That's pretty powerful, actually. Let's see. Luna has the Moon Bracelet. We were to strengthen that with, say, a salamander ring. Okay, 18%. And a fairy ring, 200%. Wow. Let's see. Ring of Gods. Could we strengthen this with a, a fairy ring? 66%. Rose ring, 0.8%. Wizard ring, 4%. Salamander, 3 Hmm. Tough one to level up. Let's see. Greg Arm, the Shine Dog Fang. Uh. This one's not leveling up very fast either. It's plus two already. 320%. Oh, they max out at level three, it looks like. Viper Ring. Let's strengthen the Viper Ring some more. With, uh. Sure, lizard scale and salamander ring. And another 
salamander ring. And we get a little bit of evasion plus one. Alright, now weapon wise, sword by XP. Let's see, 54% for the Lotus Blade. Strengthen with the Gale, we'll take it to 58. 58. 109 for the Zalia Force, but let's see who else is using stuff that we could upgrade. Um, Silver Lance plus 6. Schweitzer. Strengthen with the Gale Blade, 6%. Force Breaker plus one. Poison Mist Blade. Force Breaker. Lady Lethal. 10%, 10%, We'll go 10% and 10%. So keeping that Zalia Force. For someone to use it. It's a very, very powerful weapon. Rhaegar, I'm the only one who can use it, but... Let's see, if Gregarm can use it, that means that... Lotus, if we remove his... Wait... Zalia Force is five. Let's remove the Salamander Ring. Give him a Rose Ring. Wait, five. Okay, he's got to use like a, a one. I don't want to use the Claws Ring uh, or Ring of Gods. Scissors Ring would be fine. Let's give him the Scissors Ring. And the Zalia Force One. Bong Bong. Nice upgrade. Very nice upgrade. Okay, then that leaves us with some magic items like the Wizard Ring, the Rose Ring, the Fairy Ring, Salamander Ring plus four. Um, anybody could use it, so let's look at, um, soldiers. Esmeralda doesn't have one, but she's got the Slyphead. Poison Mist Blade, so note you can't use it. Caramaris is the Schweitzer. Lady Minerva, Jarvis. Stanovets, no, does anybody have weapon power? What does it take? It takes uh, three weapon power. Wow, okay. So, Erythia, Lauren Iceweather, Standing Giant doesn't have a weapon. <laughs> Lady Minerva could get it. She barely attacks, though. Weapon power two. She's got the silver ring, though. Hmm. No one can seem to use it. Weapon power five, but got the ring of gods. All right, so. Magic items. We'll just hold on to it or rank up something else like Maggie Shy. 
Shine Dog, Greg Arms, Shine Dog, Fang. Salamander Ring. Well, it gives me an instant 100 to max this out. Um, I don't know. That's a nice one. Flame plus two and everything. Yeah, let's not do that. So we'll just keep the rest for now. Let's look at Lady Minerva. Monster kill 27, 16. Both level 15%. Let's go ahead and just change this for the uh, Salamander Ring plus 4. And let's somehow entrust her to her cowardice. Change weapon. No, not really. All right, let's get into the next battle. That was a bit of a bust. Orb sees a harder world. Fury and B. Yomi C. Let's go, Fury and B. It's a snow world that we almost completed. Got a hunter eye. Nice wintry music. Lady Lethal got cr leveled up her critical S. Nasty. And some loot. Bastard sword. <laughs> All right, on we go. Everybody's looking good. Got a rapier. Nasty. Very, very nasty. I don't see any chests. Chests. All right. Now this would be the last one probably and we're gonna run into possibly a very tough type of enemy. Ah Earth Ball, one star. Cool. Let's go. Let's go, son. Alright, um the Shrine Maiden's fine. Ours is a little worse for wear, but Let's see. Oh, uh, it has the most. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with it. Hope for the best, here we go. I'm gonna pick the Shrine Maiden. Cerulea.
Got a great bow. There's that extra bowl. Got him. No. Didn't get the extra bowl. Get him. Get him. Got him. They still have some force left. Oh. Unbelievable. And our force has dropped off like totally. I don't quite understand it. Got some gear. Hmm. Bastard sword. Great bow. Earth bow. One star weapon with magic map. Poison. Well, when Scotch's Harlow's in, give him the magic map bow. And everything else could be synthesized here. Maybe the um, Force Breaker of Lady Lethal. Go to 47%. 61%, 67%, uh, what's the Lotus Blade doing there? Lotus is using all the Zalia Force, right? Magic item. And Hunter Eye. Hmm. We can improve. The Viper Ring more, I guess. Hunter Eye. Rose Ring. Dog Fang, 32%. No. 39%. 46%. I still want the Wizard Ring. Alright, let's try this again. That dang, like... It's almost like a... Well, we could do previous worlds, that's okay. We can do Fury and A. Not sure what these numbers mean in terms, maybe they're terms of difficulty. Let's do a three, Sanzu B1. Sword. Seems rather easy thus far. Got a rapier. Area complete. Here, yeah. 
Alright, on to the next. Oh, we lost some peeps. Unbelievable, we're losing all kind of peeps. What happened? Got an earth bow. Greg Arm leveled up half tail. We lost Lotus? Shrine Maiden's team lost to Nochu. Grimace Edley. for the Shrine Maiden. That's why we have backup platoons. Oh, don't advance yet. Get a great bow. Yeah, she can take on this one. Very good. Miguchi, let's go. This is it. This is the... Uh... Oh, dear. We're losing peeps left and right. They still have quite a force left too. Alright, they don't have a whole lot of force left. Yeah, we got them. Very nice. Colbert shot. Strong type of bow. Uh oh, go get that one. Got him. World complete. Let's see if we get any force from this. If we get any sort of force from this, or if force has just gotten very, uh, it's gotten more rare, rarer. Yep. Maggie, that time, Lotus. Don't know what happened to Lotus. Oh, that new weapon we gave him. Huh. Maybe that was just a freak thing. Lady Lethal goes to 176 force. She forces up, so no chew and caramaze. Force up 171 for Sinochu, 145 for Caramaze. Esmeralda goes way up to 150 force. Nice. And we got some good loot. Let's keep an eye on that Lotus situation because. With the Zalia Force, he just had his worst showing ever. Whereas with this... He poisons multiple enemies. This has better defense though, so I don't understand, but... Does anybody need any of these weapons? Holbert shot? Uh, Stanovets? I like the Grim Reaper bow though. Um, loses three hit and six evade. Well, they don't really need to evade much.
Spiral Ball doesn't have its magic released yet. And Holbert Shot doesn't either. Everything else can be synthesized. I don't think any magic items came through. Nope. So let's look at XP on the weapons. Force Breaker, Lady Lethal's weapon. Go to 89%, 98%, 110, 108. Force Breaker went up one. Attack or defense, let's go with attack. Then we've got Azalea Force 1. Strengthen with the Holbert shot. The Great Bow. Yeah, they're not going to do much for it. Grim Reaper Bow. Not going to do much for it. <laughs> Naganata. Not doing much. Derek, that's plus six. Silverlands plus six. Schweitzer. Um, unless we literally upgrade. Luna's got a tower? Really? What's her magic item? <laughs> Definitely upgrade twice with this. Do the Holbert shot. Learned Blast. Hmm. <laughs> Six percent chance. Tower of Blast. And we'll give it a more success rate. Let's give it magic plus one. And then Great Bow takes it to 92%. Earth Bow to 117. Give it another 10%. Blow them away. <laughs> Something to mess around with. Let's head to the next world. How about an arena battle? Rank battle. Star Orion. Let's give it a shot. Our top fours versus theirs. Oh, we gotta click. Dang, they done rocked us. Huh. Okay. <laughs> How about Steel B? Give Steel B a shot. Wow, I'm taken down immediately to almost nothing. Might as well grab some loot along the way. Silver sword. Still tons of force left. Wow. Elzarian's wrecked. Yeah, this was not good. Seems like Lotus is doing pretty good. Got a rogue blade. Uh 
Nice. Let's get another tower. Let's go around for possible loot. We got rocks and steel B. Looks like that's about it. Is there something down here? No. All right. Turn. Oh, Sorelia got some force from that one. 207 force for her. Nice. Silver Sword LT. That's different. That's different. That's not a Silver Sword. That's a Silver Sword LT. So actually, Lady Minerva. It's a barrier attack with this one for the Long Sword. Give it to Lady Minerva. It's not quite as good as the longsword. Hmm, well, we'll just uh, pitch it in the fire, basically. Let's look for XP. Force Breaker plus one, Lady Lethals. We can strengthen it. Rogue Blade. Elvor, Silver Sword, 38%, 53%, Lotus Blade, yeah, I think so, Bong Bong, alright, um, attack plus 2, defense plus 2, barrier attack plus 1, um, How long have we been playing? 38 minutes. Time to wrap it up. See if we can do one more quick one. In, um... Lenark C. One more quickie. Oh. Got a Gale Blade. Lady Lethal left up, leveled up her aura shield. Oh, we got a area complete. Can you recall the voice of God? What? Oh, what did I do? I should have said yes, not canceled. That was something special. Oh my gosh says something about recalling the voice of God. I could have. And I click cancel. I don't know why. I do not know why I did that. Return. Wait, 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 wait. Grim goes to 138. Nice. Good stats, too. Let's try that again, because that was wild. I know it's the end of this episode and all. Let's see if I can recall the voice of God again on Linark. Let's see. Let's try this again. Karame is going to work down here. Ok, 
Continue to call the voice of God. Okay. Five items still remain. You must slay every dragon and restore each and all. Oh. Okay. Oh, another orb item. Where's my orb breaker? Greg Army. Greg Arm. Oh, I have it on weight. My bad. Got a rogue blade. Oh, it tells you how many stages it is. That's what that number is. Not a difficulty, but how many stages. Interesting. Two-handed sword. So I want to thank you guys for joining me, as always. Appreciate your viewership. You make this all worthwhile. I um, hope you are enjoying the series, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. Definitely some more to come. I'm gonna see if we can crack the code, continue to crack the code. So hit that like button, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, subscribe to my channel for more, and hit the notification bell, but only do those things if you really want to. Otherwise, don't worry about it, but it does help my channel, but don't feel pressured either. So, um, do hope to see you guys next time, though. Until then, be well, live well, stay well, guys, and much love, peace, and joy to all of you. And we'll play some more of Vasta Claus 3 soon. Peace.